good morning and thanks a million for joining me on the mat this morning. This is our last of the 12 days of Christmas yoga. So well done to those of you who have completed the 12 days. Not the easiest thing to do, especially over Christmas, but hopefully you'll, you'll see the benefits of it. Uh, and again, it's a nice practice, even though it's the 12 days of Christmas, but it'll be on the YouTube channel. So you can go to it whenever you want. If you just want a little 15 minute breather, whatever it is. Um, we're going to do a nice little energetic practice this morning uh, just to kind of unblock all those energy channels and get the body flowing a wee bit. So we're going to come straight into our easy cross-legged, starting as we have been. Again, let's get nice and comfy, nice and tall. We're going to open the palms to the ceiling and when you're ready, we'll inhale the arms out, reaching up. Interlock fingers, press palms to ceiling as we exhale, press the palms forward and stretch between the shoulders. We're going to do that two more times. And we're really trying to get those arms right back in line with the ears and then exhale, press forward. And from here, we're going to rest the hands, palm down on the knees. We're going to inhale, draw the chest forward, sink the shoulders back, three to the gaze up. And as we exhale, we're going to press into the legs, curl through the spine as we tuck the chin to the chest. So inhale, gaze goes forward and up as we arch the spine, little cat cow curl here. Exhale. Press into the legs as we round through the spine and tuck the chin in. Continue with your own breath, maybe close down the eyes. So just getting a little bit of mobility, a little bit of energy into the spine here in our seat. And then when you're ready, we're going to meet at center. We're just going to reverse the crisscross of the legs here, keep a wee bit of balance in those hips. Again, we're going to rest the palms and the knees. This time, as we inhale, we're going to press the chest all the way over to the right, hinging from the lower back. As we exhale, we're going to draw the chest forward and then bring it all the way over to the left. And then we're going to curl through the spine. So nice big circles here. Inhale forward to the right, continuing your way. Make it as mobile as you can. And as we exhale, tuck the chin in and round through the spine. So same deal, but we're just making a few little circles from the lower back here. So really trying to incorporate the full length of the spine. We're going to reverse those circles, so whatever direction you chose. And again, close down the eyes if it feels good. Really drawing that chest forward, trying to create as much space and length in the spine, nice little release into the glutes here. So again, just a nice little bit of energy into the body. Easing it out, letting it go. And then when you're ready, we're going to meet back at centre. From here, we're going to sit back onto the heels, bringing the knees together. And again, if the calves are tight, the quads are tight, you might, or the ankles are tight, you might need to put a little bit of cushioning underneath the knees, like a rolled up towel, and likewise into the front of the ankles. But I will, I'll encourage you not to avoid the pose, even if you need to hover off a little bit or tuck the toes under. We're going to open the palms to the ceiling and then inhale the arms out, reaching up. As we exhale, gently twist to the right. We're going to rest that right hand to touch or hopefully catch hold of that left foot. And then we're just going to bring that left hand to the outer right thigh. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. And as we exhale, gently twist to the right. Inhale, sit tall. As we exhale again, we're all starting those twists in the lower back, moving into the ribcage, into the chest, and taking a look over the shoulder. One more breath here. And then slowly inhale back to center. Same on the other side, palms are open. We're going to inhale, arms out, reaching up. As we exhale, gently twist to the left, bringing that left hand to hopefully catch hold of that right foot or whatever we can catch. We're going to bring that right hand to the outer left thigh. Inhale, sit as tall as we can. And as we exhale, twisting from the lower back through the rib cage into the chest, we're going to take a little look over that left shoulder. So we're inhaling, sitting tall. And we're exhaling, twist and release. One more breath here, lengthening through the spine and then working into that space as we exhale. And then slowly we're going to inhale back to center. From here, we're going to come onto all fours into our tabletop. Left hand comes to the center of the mat. Shoulders stacked over the wrist, hips are stacked over the knees. Knees are a little bit wider than hip width distance apart here. We're going to flip the right palm to face us. As we inhale, bring that right arm up and open the heart. Follow the gaze to the hands. 
And as we exhale, we're going to tread that right arm underneath the left as we draw the shoulder to the mat. Inhale, right arm up and open the heart, creating that space. And then exhale, tread the right arm through as we draw the shoulder to the mat. One more breath here. Trying to get a little bit more twist with each inhale. This time as we exhale, we're just going to return that right hand to replace the left. So right hand is toward the center, slightly off center. Left palm flips to face us. And we're going to inhale the left arm up and open the heart. As we exhale, thread the left arm underneath, right as we draw the shoulder to the ground. Inhale, left arm up and open, gaze comes up. Exhale, thread it through and release that shoulder to the ground. One more here. Keep drawing the belly button in, keep those core muscles switched on. This time as we exhale, we're just going to release that left hand to meet the right. We're going to bring both hands a little bit further forward, forward of the body, tuck the toes under, press the ground away and sit back toward those heels, get a nice little bit of space into the arches of the feet, resting the head down between the arms, maybe slide those hands forward a little bit more, coming into a nice child's pose with the foot tucked under. We're going to come high in the finger pads here and just feel that space between the shoulders and into the arms as we inhale, lengthen through the spine, and as we exhale, allow the belly and chest sink a little bit closer toward the ground. So we're inhaling, lengthening, maybe creeping those fingertips forward a little bit more. And as we exhale, release. One more breath here. We're really expanding the ribcage here with that breath. And then flattening out the hands. We're going to press the hands into the ground, gently hover the knees off the mat, lift the hips toward the ceiling, and then lower those heels down toward the ground, coming into our downward dog. Pressing the ground away, we're drawing the chest toward the mat. Lift the hips a little bit higher, draw the belly button in, sink the heels a little bit lower. Gaze is relaxed. So we're looking back toward the knees and we're just going to gently paddle out those feet. Nice and easy. No sudden movements, just wakening up the back of the body, easing out the soft tissue. Again, only go as far as feels like a nice gentle release. Relax the head, relax the neck. Coming to stillness, we're going to inhale the right leg up, looking forward. We're going to step the right foot into lunge, drop the left knee down on top of the toe. And then we're going to come up onto the finger pads here. Inhale, draw the chest forward, sink the shoulders back. And as we exhale, release those hips a little bit more toward the ground. We're going to pause here for three. Allow those hips release a little bit more for two. And one. We're going to inhale both the arms out, reaching up, palms together. Exhale, hands to heart. From here, we're going to inhale, lengthen through the spine. As we exhale, gently twist to the right. And then we're going to rest that left upper arm onto the thigh. Hands are in prayer for hands face forward, right elbow points toward the ceiling. Try to keep that right knee stacked over the ankle. We're going to press that left arm into the leg and see if we can draw that right shoulder back a little bit more. Almost get the front of the body parallel to the side of the room. Bending into the left knee, press the arm a little bit more, see if we can create space between the belly and the leg. Taking the gaze over the right shoulder for three, for two, and one, slowly we're going to turn back to the front of the room, framing that right foot with both hands. We're going to tuck the left toe under, pressing back through the heel, hold it here in our lunge for three, for two, and one. Stepping that right foot back to meet left, we're going to walk it out in our downward dog. So pressing the ground away, lifting the hips nice and easy. Relax the head, relax the neck, relax the breath. And then from here, coming to stillness again, we're going to inhale the left leg up this time, looking forward, stepping left foot into lunge, dropping right knee down. Coming on to the finger pads here, we're going to inhale, draw the chest forward, sink the shoulders back. And as we exhale, release those hips toward the ground. Again, try to keep that left knee stacked over the heel. For three. For two. And one, we're going to inhale both arms out, reaching up, palms together, exhale, hands to heart. We're going to inhale, lengthen through the spine. And as we exhale, twisting gently to the left, we're going to rest that right arm onto the leg. Hands in prayer, for hands face forward, elbow toward the ceiling, bending into the left knee until that knee is stacked over the ankle. 
We're going to press the right arm into the leg. See if you can draw that left shoulder back a little bit more, opening the heart of the left side of the room. Press the arm into the leg a little bit more and see if we can draw the belly off the leg. So adjust yourself here as much as you need. We're going to take the gaze over the left shoulder, twisting, releasing for three, for two, and one, gently turning back to the front of the mat. We're going to frame that foot with both hands. Coming off the knee, we're going to hold it here, getting a little bit more into those hips for three, for two, and one. Stepping the left foot back to meet right, we're going to press our way back into our downward dog and walk it out nice and easy. Relax the head, relax the neck. Keep pressing the ground away. Keep drawing that chest toward the mat, lifting the hips. Coming to stillness here. We're going to inhale the right leg up, looking forward, stepping right foot into lunge, dropping left knee down. Pause here for one breath. And then inhale both arms out, reaching up, palms together, exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, lengthen tall through the spine. As we exhale, gently twist to the right, placing that left arm onto the leg, hands in prayer, pressing that left arm into the leg, twisting the body for three. Gates goes over the shoulder for two. And one, we're going to bring that left arm off the leg, continuing to twist to the right, and then open those arms nice and wide, bringing the gaze over the right thumb. Bending into the right knee for three, for two, and one. Resting that right hand on the back leg. We're going to inhale the left arm up, flip the palm, and as we exhale, reach that left arm to the back of the room. Bending into the right knee, gaze goes over the shoulder for three, for two, and one. Inhale, arms back wide open. As we exhale, we're going to cartwheel both hands down either side of the right foot. Coming off the left knee, we're going to step that right foot back to the left, walk it out in our downward dog. Nice and easy. Try not to hold the breath. Get that breath deep down into the belly. Use the breath to mobilize the core, the rib cage. Coming to stillness, we're going to inhale the left leg up, looking forward, stepping left foot into lunge, dropping right knee down. Pause here for one breath. And then inhale both arms out, reaching up, palms together, exhale, hands to heart. Inhale here, lengthen through the spine. As we exhale, twist to the left, resting that right arm onto the leg. Hands together, left elbow to the ceiling, press that right arm into the leg. Turn the body to the left side of the room, engage that left shoulder, gaze goes over the shoulder for three, for two, and one, inhale the right arm off the leg, continuing to twist to the left, we're going to pause here for three. Draw that left shoulder back for two. And one, opening the arms nice and wide, palms face the left side of the room, gaze to that left thumb, still bending into the knee for two. And one, left hand comes to the back of the thigh. We're going to inhale right arm up, flip the palm, and as we exhale, reach that right arm to the back of the room, Bending into the left knee, gaze over the shoulder for three, for two, and one. Arms back wide open. As we exhale, we're going to cartwheel both hands down either side of the left foot. Coming off the right knee, pause. And then step that left foot back to me, right? Walk it out one last time in our downward dog. Nice and easy. Pressing the ground away, lifting the hips nice and high. And then from here, coming to stillness in our downward dog, we're going to bring the knees to the ground. We're going to bring the toes together and bring those knees as wide apart as you can. Pressing the ground away, we're going to sit back toward those heels. Resting the forehead down toward the ground, we're going to come high up onto the finger pads. So we're in a nice wide legged child's pose here. Just go as wide as feels good for you. We're going to inhale center, and as we exhale, we're going to walk those hands all the way over to the right, as far as we can go, pressing the ground away as we do, really drawing that left sit bone back. Maybe place the left hand on top of the right. Again, rest the head between the arms. It doesn't have to touch the ground, but just take the weight out of the neck. Pressing the ground away as we inhale. As we exhale, sink the hips, sink the belly, sink the chest toward the ground. One more breath here. Coming back on the fingertips, we're going to inhale back to center. 
And as we exhale, walk those hands all the way over to the left. Again, maybe placing the right hand on top of the left, if it feels good. We're going to press the hands into the ground and really draw that right sit bone back. Head is rested between the arms, take the weight out of the neck. As we inhale, press the ground away, really draw that breath deep into the belly. And as we exhale, sink the belly, sink the chest, sink the heart, sink everything, hips toward the ground. One more breath here. And then slowly inhale back to center. As we exhale, we're going to make a little pillow by piling one hand or one fist on top of the other, resting the forehead here. If the hips feel a little bit too stretched out, you can always bring those knees a little bit closer toward each other. And we're just going to take a moment here. A nice little child's pose variation. Maybe just gently rock into the hips, releasing any last little bit of tension or trapped energy we have here. Maybe rock a little bit through the head, releasing the neck and the upper back. Melting those elbows apart, allow the chest to move a little bit closer toward the ground here. We're just going to come to stillness for a couple of moments, just checking into where we're at on the mats in this moment, noticing the breath, noticing the body, noticing where the mind is at. Is it where you're at or is it racing ahead to what you need to do? So just coming back to the moment, find yourself. Maybe reward yourself for taking these few moments out of every day over Christmas. It just shows, just to prove to yourself that when you set your intention, you're able to do it. And maybe that 15 minutes becomes longer, maybe it doesn't. But just coming back to you know, looking after yourself, even whether it's yoga or whether it's something else, just trying to find maybe 15 minutes in your day to do something good for you. And then with that energy, hopefully sending that out to somebody who might need it a little bit more. All right. When you're ready, we're going to gently press the hands into the ground, tuck the chin into the chest, walk those hands back toward the body until we're sitting back up onto the heels. If the knees are quite wide, just be nice and gentle, walking those knees back toward each other. And again, we can finish here sitting on the heels. We can come back into easy cross-legged, or any seated variation that feels good for you this morning. And we finish like we start. So again, you're sitting nice and tall, nice and strong, open in the palms. And when you're ready, we inhale the arms out, reach and up. Interlock fingers, press palms to ceiling as we exhale, press the palms forward, release the breath, sigh it out and let it go. And we'll do that two more times. And then gently bring the hands to heart, press the palms together, close down the eyes, and just thank yourselves for creating a wee bit of space in your day, yeah, every day for the last 12 days. Well done. Create a little bit of energy, a little bit of space, and hopefully bring that with you into the day, into the week, and into the year ahead. And thank you so much for sharing your practice. Namaste.